it's time to face the legal consequences. The fate of the former chief executive of Hong Kong, Sir Donald Zhang, is finally clear as he was charged with two counts of misconduct by the ICAC while reporting to the anti-corruption body at about midday today. He was later mentioned at Eastern Magistrate Court at 2.30 this afternoon. Sir Donald was accused of failing to declare or by concealing his negotiation with Wang Xiaopao, the major shareholder of Wave Media Limited, subsequently renamed as Digital Broadcasting Corporation Hong Kong Limited, the DBC, in respect of a lease for a three-story residential property at East Pacific Garden in Shenzhen, when he, as the chief executive in council, between November 2, 2010 and January 20, 2012, approved of the applications made by the Wave Media Limited for the digital audio broadcasting license in April 2010, the application of Wave Media Limited to surrender the AM radio service license in September 2010. The application of DBC for Arthur Lee to exercise control of DBC as a director and the chairperson of the company board in 2011. Sir Donald was also accused of failing to disclose to the Executive Council about a sum of 800,000 renminbi payment by his wife, Sanila Zhang, to the East Pacific Holdings Limited on his and her behalf in November 2010. Sir Donald was also accused of failing to disclose or by concealing to the Permanent Secretary for Chief Executive Office and also the owners and non-official justice of the Peace Selection Committee Kenneth Mack about his interest in the lease of a three-story residential property situated at East Pacific Garden in Shenzhen and the engagement of Barry Ho for interior design of the flat when proposed that Ho would be referred for consideration for nomination under Hong Kong's honors and awards system, contrary to common law and punishable under Section 101, Part 1, Subsection 1 of the Criminal Procedure Ordinance. Sir Donald told the magistrate, so White that he understood both charges. The case is now adjourned till 2.30 p.m. on November 13, and Sir Donald is now released on $100,000 cash bail, but he's still able to leave the territory. He must notify the court for the change of residential address and mustn't directly or indirectly interfere or the prosecution witnesses. The prosecution said, 24 witnesses may be testified at court, including 14 government officials, together with 4,000 pages of documentary exhibits. The legal proceeding continues. Eric Lowe, INT at Eastern Magistrate Court.